The second law of thermodynamics is a pillar of modern physics. It is tied to the flow of time and the unfolding of events. It says that heat travels from hot to cold bodies and not the other way around. Because heat is a measure of disorder or entropy, another way of expressing the concept is that disorder or entropy will always increase for an isolated system or reference frame. But there is a problem at the heart of the second law of thermodynamics, and the problem is where does the organization come from for the continuous disorganization of entropy? There would have to be perfect organization at the beginning of our universe, or at the beginning of time, for the second law of thermodynamics to work. One way of looking at organization is in the form of symmetry. The object with the most perfect symmetry is a sphere. We have an infinite number of line or mirror symmetries within a sphere, and we also have an infinite number of rotational symmetries. In the theory explained in the rest of this video, the organization for the continuous and spontaneous disorganization of entropy is formed by the spherical symmetry of the quantum wave particle function or probability function of quantum mechanics. The spontaneous emission of light forms the flow of time forming greater degrees of freedom for the spontaneous flow of entropy. This can be seen as a universal process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. When the spherical symmetry is broken energy levels cascade down forming the Fibonacci spirals that we can see almost everywhere in our everyday life. But above all we see and feel this process as the flow of time itself. Time is continuously being formed photon by photon by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light waves of electromagnetic radiation, a process of continuous change, continuous energy exchange, forming the future uncertainty of everyday life. This uncertainty can be seen mathematically as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle of quantum physics. This might sound mad, but the probability function that forms the uncertainty principle also forms the movement of electric charge, forming the flow of electric current with electrical potential. In this theory, electrical potential and the individual's future potential are the same within their own reference frame. The most advanced part of this universal process is in the form of electrical activity in the brain being able to comprehend and measure this process as the flow of time with a past and uncertain future. This process is totally universal and interactive from the largest object to the smallest creature right down to the smallest element of the periodic table will slow the rate that time flows forming a curvature of space-time relative to its own energy or mass. If our eyes were more sensitive to the different wavelengths of light we would be able to see that everything is radiating electromagnetic light waves continuously. This forms a great dance of energy exchange forming a process of spontaneous and continuous change that we see and feel as the aging process and as the flow of time itself. In this theory Gravity is a secondary force to the electromagnetic force. Objects just free fall towards the greatest mass or energy because it has the slowest rate that time flows. The second law of thermodynamics falls out of this theory. The organization for the spontaneous disorganization of entropy is formed by the spherical symmetry of the quantum wave particle function. The spontaneous absorption and emission of light forms the flow of time, with photon energy cascading down, forming greater degrees of freedom for the flow of entropy. We have an infinite number of reference frames within our universe, and because light has momentum, and momentum is frame dependent, each object or observer will have their own reference frame with their own future uncertainty as time unfolds photon by photon. Therefore an observer can look back in time at the beauty of the stars in all directions from the center of their own reference frame. 
This is because they are forming their own space-time by collapsing the waves of light into new photon oscillations, forming their own future potential. An artist will take energy and time to create a work of art because the atoms of the hand and eye have bonded together, forming the movement of electric charge, creating their own potential future. Creation is truly in the hand and eye of the beholder in this theory. I am on YouTube promoting my theory on the physics of time as a physical process. This theory is very simple. The forward momentum of light forms the forward flow of time within each reference frame. The wave-particle duality of light forms an interactive process forming a blank canvas that the individual can interact with. I believe this is what we are seeing when we see an artist at work. We are seeing new light photons coming into existence relative to the actions of the artist. In this theory, the parallel universes of string theory are just future possibilities and opportunities in a one three-dimensional universe of continuous energy exchange, a process of continuous creation. This is based on just two postulates. The first is that the quantum wave particle function, or probability function, of quantum mechanics represents the forward passage of time itself, with the future unfolding photon by photon. The second is that Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, that is formed by the wave function, is the same uncertainty we have with any future event within our own reference frame that we can interact with, turning the possible into the actual. This is an invitation to see an artist's theory on the physics of time as a physical process.